Kids just get better with age. You put the happy in our birthday. Don't you love that? Merry Craftsmas in July. It's actually not that easy to say. I've been practicing all day, looking forward to the next two hours we get to spend together. We're gonna bring some holiday cheer into the middle of July. The countdown to Christmas has begun, so let's just get crafty and let's take you shopping. The amazing Sarah Davies is gonna be joining me shortly. And then next hour, we got all kinds of gadgets and gizmos to help you with your crafting at home. So come along for the ride. We'll be streaming live on HSN's Facebook page. If you wanna give Sarah Davies a shout out or tell us what you love about Merry Craftsmas in July. One day only here at HSN. So here's what's coming up. Did you see this yet? It's the most adorable pop-up boxcar die set. You get the worker die to make this three-dimensional pop-up box, which by the way, folds flat for mailing and shipping, but you also get the stamp and the die set to make all kinds of fun, gorgeous, and fabulous cards. It's $49.95. You also can get just the die set on its own. You can get just the stamps on their own. You'll have a lot of fun decorating. Uh, this one is going really, really quickly. So if you can, go to hsn.com and jump in early. That way you won't miss out on your favorite decorator style. All right, also coming up a little bit later in the show, uh, check this out. This is also from Crafters Commandion. It's the Create a Card Christmas Frame. That's right. It's this beautiful square five by five size that I know so many of you love for your Christmas cards. All you do is choose the style. This is the Christmas tree. We also have one in the star design. We have a snowflake. We have holly. It's all kinds of uh, Christmas cheer here on HSN. And I can't wait for you to join me. In fact, uh, we're going to tell you a little bit more about Sarah Davies and inspiration, an amazing craft all the way from the UK to the US and just about anywhere and everywhere in between. Uh, she's a nonstop crafter who started Crafters Companion and started doing this professionally at age 21 when she was studying at university. She and her products became an overnight success story and we're so glad that she's gonna be joining me this hour on HSN. All right, so let's get right into some of our very first items. Also, I wanna mention there is a very fabulous offer on the HSN credit card today. If you apply today and buy today, you'll get $40 off your very first purchase. Just so you don't miss out on all the great fun opportunities and best ways to save. So that's $40 off your very first item. Well, you're going to need to spend more than $40 to get $40 back. And I don't know if we can help you out with that, but for $29.95, we have an affordable and easy and fun way to jumpstart your crafting career. Whether you're a beginner or whether you're an expert, this is our crafter's companion. Christmas sentiments set and here's what you're getting you're getting three different packages and each one has its own sentiments you're going to get the holiday sentiments you're going to get the words that say Christmas and so much more Noel and so much more you are getting all the words and phrases plus you're getting festive foliage you're getting snowflakes you're getting reindeer and everything you need to get started to create a winter wonderland in total it's 41 pieces it is brand new. We've saved it for our show. It's only $29.95. But let's go ahead and go all the way across the pond to see how Sara Davies is uh, bringing us the best of the best today. Merry Craftsmas, Sara. <laughs> Merry Craftsmas, my dear, from, from across the pond as well as you say. Uh, and what a way to kick off this hour. We did these in the everyday version and you guys loved them. I think it's because the cards are quite simple but really, really effective. You know when it comes to Christmas, Sarah and you've got like a gazillion Christmas cards to do aren't these the fantastic like nice and simple Christmas cards but that look really really effective and stamping is one of the most fun paper craft techniques I find okay now this is just a few little ideas of what you could be doing what I will show is exactly what you're getting okay because can you see here each stamp and die set so for example in the Christmas here what we've got is we've got the stamps which do do the Christmas sentiment and then also the die cut that cuts around it. Then can you see how we've got all of these in the background, Sarah? You get these two sets of extra stamps, which are going to do all of your Christmas designs. So two lots of them, and they're going to give you all the lovely background pieces. So you've got the background pieces and then you've got Christmas. You've also got holidays. 
So it just makes it really generic, great for Christmas cards. And then you've also got the Noel. So it gives you all three of those with the beautiful background pieces and the centerpiece word in a different way. And then if you want to go for an extra, we do have Merry as an extra. If you want to, if you just really like the concept and you want to go a bit further. For $29.95, you are basically getting the three stamp and die sets and also the two sets of stamps. Now, I'm going to go straight into the demo because it's one of them, Sarah, when you see it, you think, oh, wow, that's really simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these lovely stamps. And what's great about these is they're just a lovely small size and that's what you need. So you can see we've got the, the Christmas bells. We've got some snowflakes and some stags. And what I'm going to do is just start off by taking a couple of the little snowflakes and I've got some of our ink pads. We've got the ink pads on the show as well today. And I'm just going to stamp a couple of these little snowflakes around the outside of the card. I'm creating like a nice background. So we'll start with the snowflakes. Oh, then let's build up some of these nice stags. And they're really great images for whether you use them as backgrounds to go with these sentiments or you just want to use them as generic backgrounds. Look how well each of these kind of picks up and tells that Christmas story as it was. So I've got some stags, I've got some deer. Let's have a little go with one of the sets of bells on there as well. And you can build up the background however you want. And what I'll do is I'll probably kind of jump, jump a little way away. You can see I've started doing a few bits of stamping there. But on this one, I've done lots of stamping with all the different pieces. And I've also inked around the edge with the red. So that's how you create your backgrounds using the stamps that are in this set. So that would give me a lovely kind of background piece to go on the card. But then we need the actual main sentiment itself. So that's when the extra stamp and die sets come in. So can you see with each one of those, Sarah, you're going to get, if I take like the Christmas here, it's much easier, I find, to die cut and then stamp onto your die cut piece. So I'm going to just take that Christmas... It's a brilliant size to fit through your little miniature die cutting machines. So again, this is one of those mice projects that if you want to do it with the kids or maybe you want to do it when you're off on the go, it's a, it's a quick and easy one and you don't need a lot of other kind of materials there with you. So can you see there, we've stamped the Christmas and just pop all the little pieces out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the matching stamp set that we've got here and I'm going to line the stamp set up over top of the die cut piece. So when you see we get all of this inked up and then we can line this up perfectly over top and it gives you that lovely outline piece with all of the Christmas stamped into it. So can you see here, look how brilliant that looks. And then that literally is going to layer up as we build all of this together, you're just looking to make like a, a super quick and simple card here, Sarah. And you can see just how quick and easy it is to do. Now, I will tell you, um, I was using our stamping platform for the first time in ages. We've managed to get that 8x8 eight eight stamping platform back in stock as well. I know a lot of people have been waiting for us to do that. So uh, that one's on the screen, those of you that have been waiting. And then look at this, I've just done it in a couple of different colours so that we get a little bit of a little bit of a shadow behind. And then that is just going to stamp. And you could layer it up with a couple of foam pads if you want as well. I think they look really nice layered up. But it's all about having that piece in the inside and a little bit of a design around the outside, no matter which one of the words you go for. I love that, Sarah. And by the way, it's so easy to get started because she puts together such amazing packages. I'll just remind you everything that you're getting. You're getting three of the different sort of key sentiments. You are all getting holidays. You're all getting Christmas. You're all getting Noel. Those are the main words and phrases. And then in addition to that, everyone is also getting 10 of the festive foliage stamps. And you're also getting 10 of the winter wonderland stamps. Now, you also mentioned that there is another phrase the word Mary. If you want to add Mary to your collection, it's right over here. You'll get some of the holiday ornaments as well as the words and phrases from the Mary collection. And that's also brand new today. It's only $19.95. You can add that to your order at 715833. Uh, we also mentioned, yeah, the 8x8 stamping platform and base. That's available. You saw the item number pop up there. But she's also using that quick drying ink. And you might want to add that to your order as well. We'll make that available in a 
side panel. So it's a perfect time to dive right in. As you know, uh, our items go very, very quickly on craft day here at HSN. Nothing lasts very long. If you see it, if you love it, make sure that you drop it in your cart and go ahead and check out. Then you can come back and shop for more. We'll be here all hour with Sarah. And Sarah, is it ever too early to start making Christmas cards? <laughs> Uh, absolutely not. Take it from someone who swears every year, Sarah, that she's going to start a little bit earlier and never, ever does. And I'm always looking for kind of something a little bit different I can do this year and how can I incorporate one of the latest techniques and what did I do last year and how are people looking for something a bit different? I think this is going to absolutely give you that little bit something different. So watch what I'm doing now. I'm just creating a little bit of stamping around the background. I've gone in with one of my designs and look how many you've got on here. We've got all these lovely like sprigs and holly leaves so that every time you make a card, you're essentially going to be making this totally different. And that's always important to me. I like to be able to batch make at Christmas, but just because we're batch making doesn't necessarily mean that we want all of our cards to look exactly the same. And I think this is a brilliant way to have unique and different cards, but not maybe necessarily all identical. So you can see how easy it is to just be switching out any of these uh, designs that you're working with, any of the stamps. I'm just using some of my little stamping platform here just to build it up. And you can see how by building that stamp, just building the layers up around the outside, that is how you would go on to make a card like this, Sarah. And I think they're really lovely with all of the stamping around here, the depth and the different colorways. But you've got all of those individual pieces. And then of course you need a sentiment, which is when we bring in the sentiment that's in that collection. That's what's so different about it so much fun and I love how affordable these are if you were to purchase all of these separately you just keep with adding and adding to your shopping cart for $29.95 everyone is getting everything that you see here each one of these sentiment packages has between five and seven pieces and then you're getting the additional 10 oh let's make that uh, 26 incredible stamps so you've got 41 pieces in total for $29.95 that's about 73 cents a piece and we're going to deliver it right to your front door and this is such a great time I know we're spending a little bit more time at home these days Sarah it'd be a wonderful project to do with your family with your friends and and why not entertain the kids if they're home from school well, why not get the kids making their own Christmas cards? These sort of cards are really not difficult, Sarah. It's not an advanced skill level. And this is what I want you to take away. Perhaps you're a newbie crafter and you're watching HSN for the first time and you're thinking, I really like, those look like my kind of style of Christmas cards, but I wouldn't know where to start. This one kit, as long as you've got a little mini die cutting machine to die cut out your images, uh, this one kit is basically everything you need to get this lovely modern simplistic look to your Christmas cards. And these are just so, so easy and so fun. I love the idea that uh, we'll make it really, really simple for you. Everyone's getting holidays. Everyone's getting Noel. Everyone's getting Christmas. And then for an extra $19.95, you could add the word Mary to your collection as well. And then I think, I think you got the whole holiday covered there. Uh, a super easy way to make your Christmas cards and make them at home. Okay, I want to mention uh, one other selection for you. And this is the one that I just mentioned. It's called Mary. It's $19.99. You'll get with with this one, not only the word Mary, but some extra fun sentiments, words, and phrases. This one comes with the ornaments. So if you love the holiday ornaments, if you love decorating with the holly and the ivy, this one has some great stamps with it as well. It's only $19.99. Another uh, great little item to add to your order. Everything's on flex pay. So we've got interest-free monthly payments, because I know a lot of you are just going to shop till you drop today. And then if you do need a die cutting machine, we've got it. It's called the Gemini. This is the Gemini G. Junior. So if you just want to start small or do all your great cards and smaller projects, it is on sale for you today. Look at that nice big sale price. It's usually over $200 and now it's $179.95 with flex pay. Get it home for $60. And by the way, if you're getting that HSN credit card today for the very first time, you can apply $40 off to your very first purchase 
Wow, that gets you down to 139.95 on that one. So, so come say hi. We're we're shopping, we're crafting, uh, we're having a lot of fun bringing in the festive cheer for Merry Craftsmas in July. It's also our big birthday month here at HSN. We kind of like to go all out during the month of July, so we like to bring you some fun, uh, big fun birthday surprises. Let's see, Tammy is here. She says hi. John is here. Sean is here. A crafter's companion is checking in. Uh, Liz is here. Uh, D is here. Hi, guys. Uh, Pat is here. She's loving your demos, Sarah. And I know she doesn't mean me, Sarah, because <laughs> it's all you today, Sarah. Uh, she says hello from South Carolina. So the gang's all here. Uh, let's dive into our next presentation. I'm loving that we get to do this. It is brand new. We have saved it just for our show. You're the first to see it, and I think you'll be the only ones to get in on this. You have a choice of the three different styles, and each one is going to be only $29.95. You're going to get a stamp and die set. Here are the three choices. One is called Modern Christmas. Oh, we'll start here. There you go. That is called our traditional Christmas. It's like the nativity design. You have the little scene of Bethlehem. You've got Mary and Joseph and the baby there. That's just one of the themes you can choose. This one, I believe we're gonna go to, uh, is it the Winter Wonderland? I think it is. Winter Wonderland. You'll see You'll see the designs uh, when Sarah demonstrates. The Winter Wonderland has the robin red breast. It has the festive flurry. It has the snowflake designs. Or you can choose our, our final choice, which is, I believe we're calling this one traditional Christmas. Yeah, it has the decorations. It has the ornaments. It has the garland and the banners and the bows. You just choose your favorite one here. It is brand new. You're going to get everything that you see here. Uh, uh, Sara, I saw you demonstrating this on a video. I absolutely fell in love with all the different little scenes, all the characters. Uh, wow, you've got endless possibilities here. Well, it's lovely because it's stamping, Sarah, but not as we know it. Because uh, regular stamping is so last year, everybody's into the three-dimensional stamping now. So can you see how awesome these ornaments look stamped up in three different layers? Or how much better does this Christmas tree look when you've got the Christmas tree with the base tree in one colour, the baubles in another colour, or that gorgeous swag? The swag is just incredible. And you see, you're getting all of the stamps to stamp up the different layers and the die cut to cut it all out. We've got the little Robin Redbreast. I'm going to show you exactly how to do him. He looks so cute. Uh, you've got the Let It Snow, the little flurry that comes in there. You've got the nativity scene that you could be stamping and die cutting out. And I'll show you with each one, Sarah, because like you said, there's three options. But I'll show you what comes with what and how it all works, OK? So if we talk about the first one, the one that's got the Christmas tree in, can you see this is the stamp set how it comes so you start off with layer one so you stamp the bare branches then you're going to stamp the the fluffy bits over top of the branches then we're going to stamp the baubles over the top and they're all layered by number so that when you stamp it up it makes this effect and then you've got the die cut to cut it out now the tree comes with those baubles that i was showing you well you guys call them ornaments over there don't you and you've got three different each one's multiple layers of a stamp. It's a really brilliant set. Now, the second option is your fabulous robin. So the robin is coming here. This is what I'm going to teach you. Can you see how detailed these stamps are? And the robin comes with your snow flurry. And these stamps are all photopolymer, by the way, which is why you get such a brilliant detailed stamping result. So there's your multiple layers on there. And then your third option in this one, can you see, is your swag. And the swag comes with this little extra die that's um, bringing you all the joys of the season, which I think is a lovely little neat one at the back. And then also you get the, the reason for the season, which I think is lovely. And you see all these little extra dies that we get included to cut out all these extra pieces. So it's quite a comprehensive stamp and die set. And each one of these sets should be $19.95 each, but you get two of them in the set for the special price today. So are we ready to learn how it works? I think it's not until you see it that you understand how awesome the layered stamping is. And what I've done, Sarah, is I've got that 8x8 stamping platform. So this is the one that we were looking at before. You can see how much bigger it is. And also, it's got this nice base, which allows you to position your feet in. So what I'm going to do is just get a piece of card, first of all, and stick the little magnets on just to hold this all in place. Then I'm going to come in with the first layer of the robin. So can you see, we've got one, two, layer three. So I'm going to start off with layer one. 
Let's have a little look at where we want our robin to be nicely in the middle. And then we just go down, pick him up. And then I'm going to start off. Oh, let's have a look. Your, oh, they're nice and sticky. I'm going to stick those uh, magnets right down on the top. These all come, by the way, with your stamping platform. So this is the photopolymer stamp I was talking about, Sarah. Watch what happens when I come on here. This is my quick drying. So I'm going to start off by stamping the first layer with that lovely quick dry ink. And when we pop this down, you see, this is going to give us all of the detail. That's the beauty of photopolymer stamps. You get all of that lovely detail. But because we've done it in the quick dry ink, that is dry instantly. Then what happens, we come in with our layer number two. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to lie that over top of where we can see the rest of the bird is. So I can see all of that is layered up perfectly. Then I come down pick it up on my stamping platform. This is why this platform's so awesome and everyone needs one. Uh, and I'm gonna start on with my next layer. Can you see? So you come on with the next layer of ink. So I've gone from like a nice deep red for his breast. A little bit of the detail over top. And cause we're using those quick dry inks, Sarah, you can see this dries instantly. So you start to look a bit three dimensional. Let's get in layer two off and let's get layer three on. And for layer three, I'm gonna go with a really, really deep brown. So this is where we're gonna get the detail around his eye. Uh, we're gonna put a lot more detail in around his body there. But all you're doing is picking this up and then coming in layer three, a nice deep brown. This is our seal brown in the range. And this is why uh, we do a, a quite a vast array of colors, you see, and each color family has three matching colors. When we go and stamp this now, you can see there, when I lift that up, you've got a truly three-dimensional robin that you just watched me create live on TV, back to front, upside down for the camera. So if I can do it at the speed of light like this, I'm sure you can master that at home, but how much easier does the stamping platform make it as well? That's right. In fact, uh, we'll make it really easy for you to order that platform. We'll put up the item number on the left-hand side of your screen here. It is 695662 if you want the 8x8 stamping <coughs> platform that also comes with the dies for that consistent precision stamping. And then also she's using some great ink. I want to mention the Spectrum, uh, the Spectrum Noir Quick Drying Ink. You actually get a three-pack. And once you pick sort of your color code your color palette you'll get three different shades in that same color palette so whether you want greens or purples or if you want summery yellows or you want neutrals or you want reds or you want blues or browns uh, we get all three of those for $21.25 so just want to mention that's some of the ink pads that she's working with and the other three choices that you have here are really easy to shop for so let me just kind of break it down for you one more time if you are looking for the nativity scene that you see here you're going to order traditional Christmas and that has sort of the reason for the season. That's 15 pieces. You get the star, you get the camels, you get the palm trees. That's called nativity or traditional Christmas. The modern Christmas, I believe, uh, this one is gonna be Winter Wonderland, and it has the birds. I can show you actually the bird on the back. So if you want Winter Wonderland, this is going to be one of our most limited. So it looks like that's really popular on Facebook. Everyone's loving that one. And then the third choice is going to be what we're calling Modern Christmas, and that has some of the trees, and it has the ornaments, and uh, different options that you can do there. I love the tree in that one. I love the, the shape of it. I love the style of it, Sarah. Oh, the tree's fabulous. I did this on a Facebook Live preview, actually, for everyone, Sarah. This is the card that I made, and people just loved it. You can go back and watch that. That's on HSN's Facebook page. You can go back and watch where I've stamped that up, and it layers up so very easily. I'm going to show you that layering technique again. Let's do a little quick one with the baubles, the Christmas ornaments, Christmas ornaments. Should we do Should we do the round ornament? Nice to start off with a nice, easy one, okay? I'm going to use the little stamping plate just for quickness. So I've got two... Um, ink pads here in the same color family so i'm going to start first of all oh, let's have a look must get the right uh, let's do let's do two slightly different colors go with a quick dry so i'm going to start with the base color and i'm going to stamp that down to give me the base here of the ornament and then what you do is you just switch it out and you come on with the second layer so this time I'm not using the one that's for positioning. I'm just kind of doing it really quickly. And you can see what I'm going to do now is just eyeball it just to get that all nicely lined up in the middle. 
So even doing this just by eye, you can see how well I can get that lined up. And then what I didn't mention with the last one is you get all of the die cuts. So what I can do is come and take the matching die cut, Sarah, stick that over the top. Just want to hold that in place with a little bit of tape there. And you see that will run through my Gemini Mini at record speed. So I can be doing my own little Christmas baubles in just a couple of, I mean, come on, it, was, it wasn't even a couple of minutes. It was a couple of seconds, wasn't it? And then those are the sort of designs I've used on three-dimensional cards like this, which I just think look incredible. Oh, isn't that fun? And uh, your cards are so amazing. I hope you're getting an expired, uh, <laughs> inspired at home. Let me go ahead and show you the choices one more time. Uh, that way you can make your final decision. It might be the only chance you see it. So if you love the nativity scene, it also comes with the garlands and the bows. That's called traditional Christmas. Nativity scene comes with garlands and bows. Then the next assortment we have for you is called winter wonderland. It comes with all the different birds. And then it comes with the winter wonderland scenes that has all kinds of festive flurries and snowflakes. The third choice, uh, this one's also very popular. It's called Modern Christmas. This one comes with the different tree shapes and it also comes with the ornaments. This is the most popular. It is the most limited. If you want Modern Christmas, you gotta go quick and drop these in your cart at hsn.com. And then make sure you add the ink pads if you want those or if you want that stamping platform. Uh, we have all of these available for you, uh, but you've gotta shop during our big craft day because I know so many of these do sell out early in the day and I would hate for you to miss out on one of your all-time favorites. So here's the item number four, the platform. You notice this is what she's using to do all of her stamping. It's that concise precision stamping that I know a lot of you love to do. It's easy to use, it's perfect for beginners, and it is uh, getting limited, only about 500 of those to go around. It's non-slip too, so it's a great investment in your crafting closet, 695662 is your item number. Check out all the great characters companions items we have coming up in our show. You might want to start some of these items early. I'll tell you what, the little three-dimensional pop-up box we have coming, it's gonna be immensely popular. It's so cool. It's so fun. I can't wait to take you shopping. We'll be back right after this, so don't go too far. Merry Craftsmas. At HSN and QVC, we stand with Black-owned businesses, and we invite you to take a closer look at the brands who are part of our family and meet the people that bring these brands to life. Hear their unique stories of inspiration and innovation and discover exciting products you'll love to shop. To learn more about these black-owned businesses, visit hsn.com and qvc.com. Our HSN price is a great value that we bring to you every day. We work hard and have the buying power to make sure it's a value that you'll love. So go ahead, treat yourself with the confidence to buy now at the HSN price. With the power of HP from HSN, reinvent how you work, how you play, how you live. Technology that makes life better for everyone, everywhere, and deals designed for every budget. HP on HSN and at hsn.com. Hey, it's Merry Craftsmas here at HSN. That's right, Christmas in July, we're crafting. It just turns into one big party. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. My name is Sarah and I'm Skyping with Sarah Davies. It's the Sarah and Sarah show. Uh, see if you can say that quickly. Uh, but I am not the crafting <laughs> expert. I'm gonna leave that up to Sarah Davies to show you what edgeables are all about. Now, edgeables are kind of new to me, Sarah, but I love oh, the idea. Oh, Sarah, you love it. You can actually do two different designs, right? They're reversible. Yes. Well, look at this. So a regular edgeable, Sarah, would be just something that shapes the side of the card. Whereas if you look at this one, what you've got is we've got a shaped side of the card and that lovely detail in the Christmas ornaments. Or for example, in this one, we've actually shaped the side of the card. It's into the fold here. So we've shaped in the Christmas trees, but then given this detail around the outside, you guys love these as well. Uh, let me show you this one here. So the Christmas snowflake, can you see the snowflake's actually in white and it's got this shadow in silver. So we've done some edibles, which are just incredible incredibly delicate like this but then we've also done some edibles that are a beautiful scene like look at these ones inside here so can you see this kind of tells the story of the birth of Christ you've got here like the Nazareth skyline in the background and then the Bethlehem skyline in the foreground layered up twice and you could be doing either that scenic one or we've got a more modern design where you've got Santa Claus flying over the rooftops this is your edible 
but you've got it twice. Now I'm going to show you how it all works, but before I do, I need to walk you through the designs because there's three options. There isn't really. There's one big option because you need to get all of these, but I'm going to show you the three so that you can see everything that's included, right? This is your Christmas snowflake. So can you see it's going to cut one base layer like this, the other side is going to cut the details so that when you layer the two of them up, you get this shadow. Now, that comes with those two scenes we were talking about. So the one that's called the Bethlehem skyline, and then also the one that's called over the rooftops, where again, one side is cutting what you see here in the turquoise, one side's cutting what you see in the gray, and when you layer them up to make a 3D scene, you get this one here. So that's your first option. Mm -hmm. Your second option that you could go for and this by the way, that's very, very popular. This the, one. the first one's called Christmas Scenes, by the way, if you like all the, the different Thank scenes of, of Bethlehem and Santa's sleigh. And then I think now you're going to do the trees and the ornaments, right? Yeah, this that's is right. Christmas decor. Yes, which makes sense. Your Christmas tree for decor. And also this really cool one with the Christmas lights. So can you see, here's a lovely three-dimensional bow front card that I've done, Sarah, where what we've got is we've got like the ornaments laid up around the side. So one side does the shaping like this. The next side of your die cuts out the ornaments that go around it. So that's the second option that comes with the ornaments. And then your third option is called Christmas foliage. And that's all of your Christmas florals. So you've got, as you would expect in any Christmas floral collection, you've got your mistletoe. You've also got the gorgeous Christmas poinsettias. This is just a beautiful collection. And then also you get in there the holly leaves. So for example, if you look at this gorgeous box that's done here, look at all these holly bits cut into the front of the box. Now, I know it all won't kind of make sense to you, Sarah, until you see them cutting on the edge of a card. So I'm going to just go straight into a demonstration to show you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do one card with those lovely Christmas ornaments, how we've got the shaping down the edge of the card, but we've got that detail. So can you see what I've done is I've just started off with a, re a regular card. I'm going to open this up and we're going to take that die set. Now, when you have a look at it, can you see one side of the die looks really intricate, Sarah, and the other one looks quite simple. And you can see that the cutting line starts here at the top, runs all the way along and stops at the bottom. So it doesn't cut everything out, it kind of stops. On this side, it's continuous all the way around. This is the one that's going to shape the base of your card. So what I do is I take this, and we go face down onto the edge of the card and that's going to cut the shaping out of the card. And just to make sure as we're sending it through the machine the right way, I'm going to hold it in place with a little bit of tape. Now at the same time that's cutting, I'm then also going to cut another piece of decorative card to go over the top. So you just lie that face down so that they're both cutting at the same time. Now, if you do have any double-sided dies, you must get our double-sided die plates. And we do them in the small size and also the larger size as well, if you want to go for the larger size in those plates. And what they do is, Sarah, they just give you the right plate combination. So you sandwich this. You've got your die sandwiched between two of the pieces of cardstock. That is then sandwiched between two of the double-sided die plates, and they go in between your regular cutting plates. And anyone who's, uh, you know, been using their Gemini quite a while, you'll realize this is just a different sandwich to what you're used to doing for your regular dies. And then we offer that through the Gemini. Now I'm specifically using the larger Gemini with the smaller Gemini plates, just to illustrate to you that these dies will work with all of your different sizes of plates here. Now, watch this when we come and lift it out, okay? You can see there, that has cut all of the detail here. You're just gonna to need to get your little pokey tool and poke all of this detail out in the background. But that die has given you that lovely detailed background. And the one that's on here, when I lift this away, that's done the shaping. So you see, we come in with our scissors and just trim up to the edge here. And that is giving me the shaping on the edge of the card. So if I take this one here, what I've done is I've actually done a card just to kind of speed things along where I've cut one on this edge here. And then can you see I've cut another one on the fold here as well. So I've cut the two designs of the ornaments in and I've popped all of these little pieces out and I've done one in the light color and one in the darker color. 
and just run them through the Xyron so that they become all sticky. And then what you do is this layers on top of your background piece here. So this is everything that you love about the edgeable design. You can see there you've got that lovely shaping on the edge, but it's been elevated to another level by having the double-sided, <laughs> the detail cutting out of a different design. And, and sorry, what's so cool is that each die has two designs and it cuts both sides simultaneously. So you're saving yourself a step. Uh, by the way, these are brilliant. Everyone's raving about these on Facebook. I'll go over the different choices one more time. Uh, this is the time to shop. I know we have fewer than a thousand in each of these options. This is called Christmas Holiday Foliage. And if you do want this one, this one has all kinds of holly and mistletoe and uh, the poinsettias that you saw there uh, with uh, Sarah in her studio. This one is called Christmas Decor. And this is, I believe, the most popular. Christmas Decor has the holiday lights, sort of the vintage lights. It also has the holiday ornaments. It has the Christmas trees. So if you do want this one, it's called Christmas Decor. It is very, very popular. Popular. Let me find out how many of those we have to go around. I know uh, they're all going quickly, about 500. So that's definitely going to be the first to sell out. And then we have Christmas scenes, which is my favorite, from the nativity scene to the Santa sleigh flying over the rooftops. This one has those beautiful picturesque scenes that you saw her working with. And that also, I know, has been very, very popular, uh, the scene of Bethlehem and Nazareth. So go ahead and, and jump right in. Each choice, you get three different designs, and each choice is really less than ten dollars a pop because you're getting three complete packages with your purchase today and I would love for you to try these. Uh, Sarah what do we need at home to make sure that we can use these dies just as long as you have a die cutter if you've got one of the Gemini's? As long as you've got uh, any one of our Gemini's and those double-sided plates that you have there Sarah and I know a lot of people have a lot of our double-sided plates and once you've bought them you've got them they work with all of our double-sided dies. Now can I do one of my favorite cards so we've done the um I've shown you how to do that basic ornament one and that is how we take it onto another level i can't believe i just called this basic i mean look how gorgeous it is and i consider that to be a fairly basic card in this sort of collection what's even more simple is those gorgeous scenes so the scene i'll be really honest that is my favorite set of all of them so can you see we've got like the over the rooftop scene so all you do for this one is you're going to start with a card so we've taken a regular card and when you look at the rooftops can you remember me saying before about how your cutting edge starts at one side runs all the way along to the other but it doesn't cut at the bottom it stays connected so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that seam I'm going to put it into the front of my card hold it down with a little bit of tape and that is going to cut the pattern out of the front of the card then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to take a piece of black card here as well stick the black card over the top so that we can also cut the black at the same time, just holding all that in place. So can you see the die is sandwiched between two pieces of card? Then you're going to get your double-sided die plate. So you've got a sandwich and a sandwich and a sandwich because you take that and sandwich it in between your double-sided die plates and you take those double-sided die plates and sandwich them in between your regular plates and then you literally take this and offer it into your Gemini machine. And you can see, I just offer it into that machine there, Sarah. The machine takes it automatically and it's the perfect depth because you've got those extra plates. So if you didn't have the extra double-sided die plates, you wouldn't have the right pressure. Now, talk about quick cards for Christmas. I mean, these are going to be awesome cards this Christmas. Watch this. If I, if I take this away first, you can see that has cut that beautiful scene here. And all we do is cut down the side of the card until we get to the start of our die cut piece. And you can see it so gives you the scene of the rooftops first of all, right? Then you've got that secondary piece. So if we cut this away, can you see I've got the, you've got the black behind it. If I stick that behind, you can see, I know I haven't sat and popped out all the little windows, but it gives you the idea of how you can have all of this laid up inside a card in literally, I mean, it's a matter of seconds. They, they are the quickest cards to do. So you've got those layers at the front. You've also got that little Santa and his reindeer that have kind of come out of there as well that can be going across the rooftops. And all I've done in the one that we finished here 
is just put some extra layers. I did a couple of layers, stuck the center on the top, and you've got a shaped front card. I think these are like literally the most professional types of cards I've seen, Sarah. And you can be doing all of these with every single one of those gorgeous dice. Wow, and by the way, that's the Christmas scenes. If you like Santa going over the rooftops and you like the beautiful scene of Nazareth, that is the Christmas scenes. Christmas decor, very, very limited. And then Christmas holiday foliage. That comes with all the, the fun, beautiful poinsettias and the holly and the ivy. So go ahead and jump on in. By the way, if you are looking for the plates, uh, we have those available for you as well. We have it's for Gemini Junior, and we also have the classic Gemini. Uh, it's only a few dollars more to get the classics, $17.50. If you do want the original, if you want the classic, that is uh, getting very limited. They're only $23.73. They all have flex pay available for you. Yeah, Sara, did you want to... Jump in there? Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move right along. We've got $40 off the HSN credit card. So that is good for a single item purchase. And how do you get $40 off your purchase today? Well, it's really easy. You can simply apply today and buy today on the HSN credit card. And we'll give you $40 off your very first purchase. It's a very special opportunity that we only do a few times a year here at HSN, but it's Merry Craftsmas. So we're gonna pull out all the fun holiday cheer and get that out to you. Uh, so try that we'd love to have you join our HSN family and uh, speaking of family we have a big crafting family on our Facebook page so come hang out with us get social but this is already really popular so we're going to jump right into this this is the crafters companion Christmas pop-up box card die set if you've always wanted to make these three-dimensional pop-up box cards that yes they give you that beautiful box shape, but they also fold flat for shipping. It is here today in a couple different ways to purchase. If you wanna order the worker die just to make that incredible pop-up blocks, you can get that as well as the poinsettia delights for $49.95. So that includes all the poinsettia designs, the stamps and the dies that you need to create that beautiful collage right here. That's $49.95. If you just wanna add on some extra festive stamps and dies, we've got a couple different choices Choices for you there. One is the nativity scene. And uh, let me make sure I'm looking at the right folder here. Yeah, this one is the nativity scene. That's right here. It also comes in Santa's sleigh and we also have Christmas and the poinsettia. So a lot of you already have the worker die to make the pop-up box. So maybe you're just buying the stamps and dies, uh, but Sara will tell you how to make the pop-up box if you've always wanted to. And you know, I've seen some of these out there that you can order or that you can buy at retail, Sara. They're very, very expensive. Uh, yeah. I mean, you make one or two cards, it's going to pay for itself. This is it. You know, what about if you want to just elevate your Christmas crafting this year? You don't want to make it just about card making. You want to make these three-dimensional boxes. Can you see? They fold flat, as you said, for shipping. Really clever. Fold flat for shipping. Go into a regular envelope, yet when they stand up, they make this three-dimensional box. Now, you were just explaining, Sarah, there's two ways to get this. Both ways include everything for the poinsettias and also this winter woodland scene as well. So take it as a given whichever of the two options you go for have the woodland scene and have the poinsettia the difference is there's the people out there who already own this collection of dies if you already own this collection of dies because you bought our everyday pop-up boxes then you only need to go for the 29.95 option which is just going to get you the poinsettia and then the extra deer to be able to put this together if you are brand new to this whole thing, you're going to go for the $49.95 option, which has the die set in to do the clever pop-up box. And once you own this, you can go for just this as well on its own if you want. We have that. Once you own this, you can add all the extra pieces on. So let me show you quite how this goes together and works. And bear in mind, every one that you do, you're going to be able to do both the poinsettia and also that lovely deer. So you're starting off with some base, just regular cardstock. You're going to take this die set and you see you lie it on top of your card, Sarah. Run that through your machine and you can have the edges of the box as high as you want. Did you notice how this box here was a lot higher than this little box here? That's just because that you can make the depth of your box as long as you want it to be. 
So what you do is you die cut this out and you need two of them. So I've actually already die cut both of my pieces like this. And then watch how easy it is for the box to go together. You've got a little gluing flap here. So you just pop your glue on your gluing flap and then put the first couple of pieces together. And then we turn this right over, pop your glue on your second gluing flap and put these two pieces together. That is the outer workings of the box already done, ready to go. Now to get the inner pieces in the inside, you'll see on the die set, on the worker die set, there's this extra piece here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut three of these out. And then with each of these, you'll see you fold the little flaps in inside and put tape on. And then watch what you do. So on the inside, Sarah, you're gonna take this and you're gonna stick it at one of the sides. So can you see I'm just sticking it at the left-hand side. Then as I fold my box up, it will automatically stick the next piece in the right place for me and put this across. So that's how it's going to go flat for the envelope, but it's going to open up and have that three dimension. So let me show you that again. I'm putting some little tape at both sides of my worker die um, to, for the box centerpiece. I'm going to stick it down on the left hand side. Just leave it a little bit free on the right, but then fold it flat. And as I fold it flat, it's going to stick it exactly where you need it in place. And you can put as many of these as you want in. I generally like to put uh, three in. Three is a, a good number to stick in, I find, is always good. But if you wanted to put four, five, six, as many layers of little designs as you want, then you've got place to hang all your pieces. So there, there's our box. There's the difficult part all ready to go. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use these stamp and die sets. So there's two sets in your main collection. This is how they come. So this is your poinsettia set. And you can see you get all of the lovely stamps here and they're all designed to be colored. So you're gonna stamp these and then you're gonna use the matching outline dies to cut them out. And what I've done is I've already done all of my stamping and cutting out. So can you see, I've got the, the lovely candle scenes. I've got the double poinsettias here. I've got all of the single ones. And by sticking them onto little bits of acetate, it means I can easily position them in place. So watch what we do. If I want to put this one at the back here, I'm just going to put some tape on the bottom. I'm going to pop this inside here. And then that is going to stick up from the back piece. And then if we want to take a couple of the little candles and pop them in from the next piece, comes in from the side and you have them just kind of spurting out as it was. And every one of these works in exactly the same way. You've just got the, the designs kind of coming out from the center and telling your own little story. They're really, really easy to do. And what I like is, Sarah, every one you make will be totally different and unique. So you just keep adding all of those mm -hmm. in. You can see the one that I've done here. I've added the little poinsettia at the front. I've put some of the, oh, excuse me, some of the bits on the background. <laughs> oh, there's the sneeze. I knew it was coming. Um, some of the little bits on the background and built that up. Now, in the same way that I did that poinsettia, you could also be doing the winter scene. So can you see, I love this one here. It reminds me of when I took the kids to Lapland last year to go meet Father Christmas. And um, you can see the lovely little deer in there and the little snow. It's very Scandinavian in its feel. But all we've done on each one of these is stuck it onto those pieces that you saw me make. So you put the three bits in the bottom and then when they fold up, they're gonna go perfectly flat to go in the envelope. Now, what I will tell you is, if you're going, if you've already got the worker die, you've probably already done some pop-up boxes and you're just excited to get these extras. If you're going for this for the first time today and you don't want to just make the antelope and the, and the lovely little poinsettia die, we have those extra sets available for you. So I think you were talking about them at the beginning. But we have one set, which is the nativity scene. So can you see, and in the nativity scene, you get the die to do the stable. You get the one, the stamp and dies for the little donkeys. You get the one for the, the baby Jesus and the nativity scene in there. That's a beautiful collection. 
And then uh, he's, a, he's another one. So this one here is your Santa Claus scene. So this is where we've got Santa and his reindeers and his elves. And I love the idea, Sarah, of making this with the kids. I mean, imagine doing these like as teacher gifts or whatever at Christmas and the kids, I mean, you've seen how easy it is to put the box together. You could make this part of your homeschooling curriculum and then do some little colouring in, cutting out, die cutting and put the whole 3D box together. So much fun. And then also there's one that's called Christmas and poinsettias, which you can order separately if you don't need uh, the die cutting set to make that three dimensional box. Uh, but again, if like Sarah said, if you're just jumping in, go ahead and go for the box dies, which is $49.95. And then just for fun, you can add on some of those other decorations of the stamps and the dies. And uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, Teresa is here. Jennifer is here. She says it's been a fantastic yet expensive craft day. <laughs> well, that's because she's finding a lot of things uh, that she loves. Judy says she's really glad that she bought this earlier so she didn't miss out. Uh, here's a question from Teresa. Can you use the double-sided dies with any die cutting machine? Uh, so they're designed to work with the Gemini. If your mm -hmm. die cutting machine has two outer plates, the same as the Gemini 2, then it's going to be the same. But we don't know the thicknesses of the plates on all different machines, so we made them to fit our machine. Um, but if, it, if, you, if your machine's got the same plate combination as ours, then yes, your double-sided die plates would work there. All right. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, we're going to move right along. This is our Crafter's Companion Gemini Create a Card Christmas Frames. And you've got a choice here as well. They're only 20 $24.95. You are going to get everything you need to make some really beautiful, gorgeous cards. In fact, I'll, I'll go through the choices right over here so you can uh, jump right in on these. These are so fun. We've got four different choices. One is called the Christmas tree frame, and you can sort of get a little hint of the designs on the front of these packages. The Christmas tree frame. One is going to be the star frame. Uh, this is really pretty. You'll see that fun little star that reveals uh, whatever you have underneath it all say peace on earth and joy to the world this one is called holly frame it has this beautiful holly in the ivy it'll say deck the halls or tis the season or holly jolly christmas days this one says snowflake frame and it will say everything from let it snow to winter wishes or believe in the magic so there's a lot of great little sentiments there and each one is only 24 dollars and 95 cents so tell us how these work sarah Oh, they're, they're awesome, Sarah. And these are in our creator card range. So for those of you that don't know about our creator cards, the idea with a creator card is that what you've got is you're going to have a die with no outside cutting edge, which makes it like a cookie cutter style. So it's going to cut into your card and stay connected. Now, in the past, we've only done like for $24.95, you'd get one design with like a Christmas tree and it would say maybe season's greetings, right? However, what we've done now is we've We've designed these in such a way that your die can be connected so that we can change out the sentiment. So, for example, if you look at this one here, this is your Christmas tree, and you can see it cuts out, and you can either have it saying Merry Christmas, and can you see how it all connects into the cardstock in the outside? So it can either do your Merry Christmas, or it can do Happy Holidays, or it can do season's greetings. And then every one of those works. So because it's a creator card, you see, it's gonna cut into the front of the card. So you have a base card, you just cut into the front and you choose the sentiment. So you choose if you're going for that season's greetings or this is a fabulous easel card that you could be doing. And this time we've cut in the happy holidays, which I think is just incredible. And then the same family here, this time we've done the Merry Christmas. So three different ways to use exactly the same base die. So three, essentially, for the price of one. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the first option. So that is our lovely um, Christmas tree design. The one that I think everybody's loved when we pre previewed it was this fabulous one with the snowflake. So beautiful, intricate snowflake design, but that you can have it saying, let it snow, believe in the magic, or winter wishes. And again, these are brilliant if you want to do things like your shaker cards. So you can see there we've got a shaker card with believe in the magic in the inside. Or we've done a very, very simple card in this family, just where it's cut into the front, but it's got that let it snow. I just think it's so clever how it's connected, these little pieces connected all in in the center. That's what the die does for you and works out. So I better get cracked because I'm dying to show you a demo as well. I've only shown you two of the options. That's the second option here. 
Your third one is the star. And the star comes with either peace on earth, joy to the world, or star of wonder, always interchanging that sentiment. The fourth option in the set is your holly design, which comes with deck the halls, jolly holidays, and tis the season. But what I'm gonna do, sir, is I'm gonna get straight into a demonstration to show you how the whole thing works, okay? So that was my uh, Christmas tree one. We'll put that to one side, and I will get out, I've got here, the uh, the star of wonder one so the interchangeable so this is how it comes two designs on the back one on the front and we just peel these off now you've got the outside cutting edge if you want to like cut it out in its entirety i'm just going to use it like this and then we decide are we going to have star of wonder joy to the world or peace on earth so you choose the one that is going on the inside there and then what you're going to do is you're just going to make up your regular sandwich combination on your Gemini. So that means your base plate, your magnetic, and then we're going to use our magnetic to hold these in place. So I'm going to put my Star of Wonder base design on first, and then this just clips into place in the center. And it's very clever. It looks nice and simple there, but actually it's all these little connector points that allow this to connect into the card. So it's all being designed. Now, let's have a little look. I've just gone with some nice, plain, simple coloured cardstock. So I've coloured my cardstock ready, and I'm going to put that face down over top here. And it's always a good idea to hold your piece in place with a little bit of tape. And then we're just going to put the top plate on and send this through our Gemini machine. And again, these dies, they're not double-sided. There's nothing out of the ordinary with them, which means they're going to work in every different brand of die-cutting machine that is out there. So once that comes out the back, all of the cutting, the embossing, everything's done in one pass, Sarah. And when I lift this off now, you see, so if I lift this out of the die... Look at that. That's what I mean when I say the star of wonder stays connected. So if I just put my hand behind here, can you see it's very, very clever how it's connected at the top and the sides. This is what it took us a long time to kind of work out how to do. Now, to make that into a nice kind of quick and simple card, what I've done is I've just gone around the outside with some uh, 3D foam tape and a piece of acetate. So can you see, I've just stuck a piece of white behind and put some 3D foam on so that what we can do is make this into a shaker card because shaker cards mm -hmm. are like my favorite designs to do. So I've got just a piece of uh, glitter card here. I'm going to take some little shakers and put the shakers just in the inside here. And then once our shakers are in place, I can just come and put on that piece of cardstock on the back there. And you can see there, we've got a lovely shaker card with our Star of Wonder in the middle. And then that's been made Darling. just into a whole card. Wow. Isn't that lovely? Oh, these are so much fun. that's just a whole card front. Yeah, they're so much fun. Uh, I just want to remind everybody, because we've only got a couple minutes left, the four choices. And I know a lot of you are getting more than one. Congratulations. It's the only hour where we're doing all kinds of fun options with Crafter's Companion for our Merry Craftsmas theme. The first one is the Christmas tree frame. Uh, you saw that there. It's got the Christmas tree, Happy Holidays, Season Greetings, Merry Christmas. That is our most popular. Next, we have the Star star frame so it can be star of wonder peace on earth joy to the world you can have a lot of fun with that star design the holly frame is that beautiful holly frame with deck the halls tis the season or jolly holly days and there's also the snowflake version that says let it snow and believe in the magic and winter wishes now a lot of you were asking about paper so i want to mention this it is a pad of the wonderful christmas paper it's 32 pages but each one of them they are double sided so you get all these gorgeous fun prints everything from holly and ivy to gingham and red white and greens and pinks and blues and the information to order that's only $14.95 we only have 400 of these to go around so I just want to make sure that everyone's getting in on all your supplies today uh, but Sara back to you because I know you just did that shaker card I know it's brilliant. Let me show you. Now you've got the gist of how these work. Let me show you all the different options again. So if we go on the star one, you can be doing it with the Star of Wonder and cutting it into the front a very simple card. Or you could be doing it switching out Star of Wonder for Peace on Earth, which is all we've done here. And every time that stays connected inside. Or your third option is you could be doing that one with the lovely Joy to the World on 
the front here. This is being done on the front of an easel card. And I think you can just see how fabulous it is to be able to change out the sentiment. So that is your star one. Obviously, you saw the Christmas tree. What I haven't had a chance to show you is the holly one. So the holly one is this fabulous jolly holiday, which you could be putting on the inside of your cards. Because it's a creator card, everything that you've seen me do with creator cards, you can learn how to do with these. And what I will tell you, Sarah, is I've done loads of tutorials on YouTube for exactly how to use these. I've done a whole, what we call a masterclass with step-by-step, -step, I spent two hours going through every different type of card <laughs> you could do and showing you it in loads of detail because I knew I'd only get 10 minutes to do it. That's right. You're blowing our minds right now. That, that's why we love watching Sarah not only here at HSN. You can find her on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube for more great tutorials. Sarah, when are you back next? I know you'll be coming back a little Nine bit later. 9 p.m. All right. Good to see you and uh, stay safe. Lots of love to you and your family across the pond and uh, check out all the Crafters Companions online at hsn.com. My name is Sarah and we're gonna wrap up the Sarah and Sarah show and coming up next I've got all these cool gadgets and gizmos everything you need to make your scrapbooking and crafting day a breeze last year QVC and HSN searched across America for the best and the brightest these people and products were a big hit now here's your chance to be a part of something even bigger are you our next great discovery we're searching for the big find. Show us what you